In previous episodes, uh, you've seen the making of the various parts required for the carriage. Now it's time to put them together. To prevent distortions caused by thermal stress, I avoided to wear the components that make these parts, so for the same reason, even the final assembly will be made with the quote-unquote cold welding. It takes some time to do this precision job because everything must be aligned perfectly. And this is a special mixture made with uh, um, epoxy resin and uh, grey cement uh, powder uh, to provide uh, more rigidity and uh, as a filling agent to level to let level the cross slide uh, on top of the uh, slides uh, and fill the gaps. And this is the delicate moment, the sensitive phase in which uh, the cross slide have to be aligned and uh, leveled against the slides that will form the, the carriage and for this tricky task uh, I've used my machinist level that uh, I've made myself link to the video in the description down below and this task require a lot of care and took a lot of time to be completed And with this tool uh, I can check the um, orthogonality, the alignment of the cross slide in respect to the axis of rotation of the lathe. The images will be self-explanatory, so no need for further comments.
Okay, the whole carriage has been installed and uh, um, the lens screw is still missing but it's going to take its final shape. And the uh, next step would be to install the turret to hold the, the, the tools but before that uh, we need to go back to the spindle and uh, try to move something here. Okay, all right. This is a temporary uh, setup just to to give a little bit of life uh, to this lathe. <laughs> this belt is a little bit too long. <laughs> okay, the motor has uh, this fit with this uh, hole uh, that uh, had uh, this uh, holder, this rubber holder, uh, anti-vibrations and, um, and uh, but this hole is uh, too big, it's 20 millimeters. So I thought to use this uh, rubber fit um, that is used for the chairs or um, or, or other kind of furniture and, um, and I use it a drill bit to enlarge the hole up to 8 millimeters so a big washer a bolt will go inside perfectly it's a method to get the perfect distance between uh, two axes uh, with holes, so we pick the distance between between the uh, the two sides of the of the holes, and uh, and then we pick the diameter of the holes, assuming the holes are the same, and should be we add this diameter to the the distance between the two this is the interax uh, interaxis the distance between the two axes of the holes Okay, this is the castle of motors that I've made <laughs> and uh, everything is remained as I left it uh, four months ago uh, and, um, and now I have to start it again and uh, make to spin something. <laughs> so I have to make a kind of a bracket here uh, to attach the motor to the 
to, to the lathe. A three millimeter mistake. Okay, I will correct it uh, with uh, a couple of washes. Contra voltage. Okay, the thing is pinning and this is <laughs> good news, uh, but there is a problem with the board, uh, the control board, because I think there is a, a faulty contact uh, and, uh, and just touching the board, you see, the motor stop, stops and go. Uh, this is a absolutely uncertain contact, an absolute uncertain contact. Also, there is a problem with the belt because uh, it slips, uh, but I think that uh, um, this is because uh, the pulley that uh, should go here in the, on the shaft of the spindle uh, will solve the problem. And, uh, but now it's slipping. All that will be seen in the next episode. Uh, so, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Both land. Uh...